tonight, but still be a little strong as we head into tomorrow. 47, 39, and 49 in your first forecast. We will stay incredibly mild for the most part tomorrow, but that's also kind of the beginning of where a little bit of a cool down moves in. So by the weekend, we do have some cooler temps moving in, but winds will be slow to relax. They're going to be a problem this evening, slowly letting up as we get into tomorrow. Our moisture chances, not that great. There's a little bit of activity out there right now. We got a couple of 20% shots in your seven day forecast. And despite the cool down, quote unquote, for the weekend, next week uh, we'll rebound pretty quickly and still be running pretty mild. But looking at Viper radar, have not I have not had to show you this uh, for a while, and I certainly haven't been able to show you thunderstorm activity in a while, but we have had a couple of rogue storms that developed out here in the Panhandle, now moving up into McPherson County. Uh, a few sprinkles there just to the west of North Platte, Ogallala. You've got some showers trying to head your way as well, and we might even sneak in a few rogue showers in central Nebraska as we head into tonight. But the big story has been the winds. And you look at them right now coming in straight out of the south primarily, gusting to near 40 miles per hour out in Imperial, 36 in Hastings. Uh, for the most part, it's been gusts of around 30 to 35 for most of us. So why is it so windy today? Well, it's all thanks to low pressure that's developing out here in the panhandle and it's going to be moving its way northward. So this low pressure system is running up against high pressure to our east and that's kind of squeezing everything together. And you see these isobars here, these lines, the closer those are together, the stronger the winds are, and that's what's taking place out there right now. But as I always like to say, it is much easier to deal with windy conditions when temps are warm. And for February, it's warm. 52 in the Tri-Cities right now. Lincoln is still at 56. 62 at Imperial. 57 in Ainsworth. Our highs are supposed to be around 38 degrees. Yeah, it is quite mild out there as we go into the early part of February. So as we look at our future cast, our frontal boundary kind of moving in, most of the activity tonight stays out to the west. There is a slim chance that as this boundary swings through tomorrow morning, we could see some showers before we kind of start to clear things out a little bit. And again, behind that front, some cooler temps are going to start to move in for the weekend, but nothing too drastic. 39 expected for the low tonight, which is still warmer than what our high temp is for most times in February. We're looking at a high tomorrow, still 51. Now it's not gonna be quite as windy tomorrow. Still could get some gusts of around 25. So it's still gonna be kind of windy. 28 tomorrow night as those temps come back down and kind of get us closer to where we should be this time of year. Cause these numbers right here, upper thirties to mid forties, that is not what you were supposed to see for this time of year. Neither are the temps tomorrow where we are in the upper forties and low 50s. Now your seven day forecast, the weekend still holds a little bit of a cool down at around 40 degrees, but we're back to near 50 as we head into next week. Valentine's Day at 48 degrees. That's not too shabby. No. And a picnic. And just to put it in perspective. <laughs> Valentine's Day picnic. <laughs> you could. Uh, Grand Island this morning at 7 a.m. was at 46 degrees. That's what it typically would be in early May. Early May wow. is when we typically get lows of around 45 degrees. That's how mild it was this morning. It did look gloomy, though. I agree. It was, but it just it had that kind of spring See, feel to and it. And I thought today was a dud weather-wise. No, oh, not <laughs> if it's in the 50s and 